So welcome to another video. We're going to do something different today. We're going to be flying in here. Looks rather residential, doesn't it? But some of you don't realize that for a living, I'm a photographer, a videographer, and of course, I fly drones. This is my little baby, the Mavic Pro. But you'll notice a modification that I've just done. This is more a test than anything. I've just bought this Hero 5 Session which uh, I want to use on the Microlite. I've seen some tests where, or some videos on YouTube actually, where they've uh, used the stabilization in such a way that it looks like you're actually a, a, a passenger in the cockpit when you're watching their videos. So I've picked up one of these sessions, turned on the stabilization to see what the effect of it is while I'm flying with the drone before I put it in the Microlite. Okay, so we'll run a test, we'll do two tests. One test will be with the stabilization turned on and one will be with it turned off, of course. And we'll see how the video compares and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's get started. All right, we're getting ready for takeoff. We're just waiting for a gimbal, uh, sorry, the uh, GPS to lock. And then we'll get airborne. Now currently we've got the video in um, stabilization mode. Now I'm running 2.7K video at 25 frames per second and it's wide angle. It's the Hero 5 session, let's go. Take off. Okay, it's hovering nicely. Everything's running nicely. Let's just fly forward and see how she looks. And let's bank it around. Look at that banking. And turn the other way. How's the video looking, guys? I'm hoping it's looking good. What I'm going to do... Can't see me. Now will blur me out. My, my identity must remain private. Alright, let's go up in the world. A little bit to try. Might be that extra weight just throwing off this balance. The gyros. But this is a test. I'm not intending to fly the drone like this at all times. It's just something to try. Let's hope the video looks nice. I'm going to lower the camera actually. So just bear with me a minute while I I do that. Okay, so we're going to lower the camera so hopefully we can see the, um, the front of the drone. And we'll do it like that actually. So now you should be able to see the front of the drone in relation to the horizon and the stability effect. Let's make, those, make sure the propellers aren't going to chop it. Um, there could be some flex. Oh, we could be right. Okay, here we go. Alright. How's it looking guys? I haven't seen it, I won't see it until I edit the thing. Turn the drone camera on. We'll start recording with the drone. Make sure it's focused. We'll record with the drone and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the drone camera. Here we go, so the drone camera is now on. We'll put that next to the video that we're shooting with the GoPro.
we're going to land the drone this time and we're going to put it turn off the stability on the gopro now the, obviously the mavic pro does not have any kind of stability mechanism but we'll keep it going we'll keep that video there as a reference to compare with the gopro Just going to alter the settings on the GoPro so that, if I can remember how to do that. Okay, we're going through stabilize the video and we're going to turn it off. Select. Okay. And we're ready to fly again. camera's recording 2.7k okay here we go so the drone's still rolling and we're going Take off. The point has been updated. so now the stability is turned off and hopefully we see some sort of difference low level pass of course Hard to see against the houses there. Yeah. Right, going up. A bit of sideways like we did before. Okay, higher. And okay, we'll come back this way. Into the wind, by the way, coming back this way. Put the wind on my back. And we'll come back down. Let's do a forward flight, fairly quick. Now the Mavic is in sport mode at the moment as well, which means it's flying at its optimum speed, faster speed I should say. It's not um, on the slower mode, which is good for video tracking when you're doing, you know, those nice slow, gentle, probably tight area type um, shots where you don't want to crash into something and you want to have very slow control. Okay, so hopefully, we have seen some great results in comparisons with the drone camera and the Session Hero 5 GoPro camera. That test again, that was with the stability turned off. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm hoping those results with the stability on will look fantastic from the microlight and give us a more cockpit looking uh, passenger view from the cockpit when we're flying. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you again later and we'll look forward to seeing you in another video somewhere, thanks. And don't forget, like and subscribe if you wanna see more and to keep up to speed with the adventures of Crownbox. Bye.